Hi, I'm Tody Sindelar, and this is OK, Let's Do It, the show designed to inspire you to follow your dreams, overcome your intimidations, and do the things you've always dreamt of. I want you to learn to create, let's go travel, give a big party, go back to school to learn, learn how to build something you've always wanted to make, collect things, and enjoy. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, I confess, this next segment is about someone that's very close to me. It's my brother, Dr. Tom Duncan. He's a physician in Lufkin, Texas. And about two or three years ago, he got inspired to have a train made for his rather large backyard that he has. And uh, I'm going to let him tell you about what was his inspiration and how he got it. I first got interested in these trains many years ago when I was studying in England and we would tour around and many of the estates had the trains about this size uh, on the estates and they just fascinated me. And ever since then I, I really kind of wanted a train like this. And after, uh, after going into practice and moving to Lufkin, uh, there became an opportunity to buy a good bit larger train from our local park that was uh, being replaced. And I started to do that but then realized I just didn't have the uh, wherewithal to maintain and keep a used train like that going. So how did you ever figure out how to get this train built? I mean, it's not like you can open the yellow pages and look under train makers. Uh, subsequently, about six or eight years ago, a man behind my office built a train of this, of this size around a relatively small lot. And uh, it really had a quite an intricate engineered uh, system of going over his driveway and everything. And I was fascinated by it. I contacted him. He helped me find various vendors for items and gave me a lot of help and suggestions in developing the train. About the same time, we realized that we had uh, uh, an associate that had the ability to learn how to build this track. Apparently, there are not a lot of resources around the United States to tell you how to build a track. And uh, we were able to get the track built. We were able to find a vendor that could supply all the parts we wanted. All the, all the cars we wanted, the engine we wanted, and uh, it was very easy to work with and helped us design the various cars uh, to suit our tastes and uh, supplied them. How have you used this train in Little Lefkin, Texas? It arrived just in the nick of time for our first grandson's birthday, uh, three-year-old birthday party. And we, uh, even though he's not from Lufkin, we found a number of kids to come to this party, and it's subsequently been used for a lot of birthday parties in Lufkin, some of which were auction items at, at charity events and things, but it's been lots of fun. Adults seem to enjoy it too, and it's, it's been an experience to have it. What was your inspiration behind what cars? How did you choose what cars you were going to have made for this train? We try to uh, get a special car for each grandchild. With a, we have one on order now, something that may have something slightly to do with the kids. So we have a Mr. Ben Bar for, uh, for our grandson. We have a uh, uh, peaches and cream ice cream car for one of our granddaughters. And we have a uh, Jello, uh, strawberry Jello car for one of our other granddaughters. The next, grand, the next car will be a uh, grain car uh, for uh, Molly, which will say, good golly, Miss Molly, and we're going to have her favorite uh, Cheerios. 